Hi, Fire Signs. I am Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot, and welcome to your weekly reading of September 9th to the 15th. This is for Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. All right, so we're going to get right into your reading. Just a reminder that this is a general reading, that it's not going to resonate with everybody. Please use your own intuition. And, um, you know, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And if you are cross watchers, you are welcomed here as well. Time is always flowing and moving. So even though that this is a weekly reading, this may resonate with you now. It may resonate, oh, you know, a couple weeks from now, a month from now, a year from now. Who knows? <laughs> but, you know, just keep in mind, time is always moving. All right. We're going to get started, fire signs, calling in your ancestors guides and ascendant masters that give us clear guidance and messages that we need to hear for the week of the 9th of september 9th for our fire signs for aries sagittarius and leo what do we have here for our aries sagittarius and leo just a reminder that if this does resonate with you well and you want more of a personal one, I do have offerings for private, and that's all in the description box. So you can get all that info in for, for you fire signs. Let's see what animal spirit we have for the week. All right. Box spirit, think on your feet. I feel like a fire sign is this is going to be the week of action, of being, um, you know, just going with your guts and being motivated and moving, being that, you know, you know, the thing is with the fox, he's sly, right? But he's sly on the fly. <laughs> the fox, the fox is, you know, an animal that is known to, could be known as kind of the sneaky thing, the sneaky fox, but I feel like this is more of the energy of really embracing, of knowing what to do and just moving forward with it, just taking action. I feel there's gonna be a lot of action this week for our fire signs, but let's see what the Oracle cards say. We're gonna pull three and then we're gonna get right into the tarot cards. It's a pretty fox. Think on your feet. There are gonna be some decisions made for a lot of you. Breathe. I feel like this time of taking a, a breath is almost like you've already done a lot of the thinking already. You've already taken the time to meditate. Get your head space clear. This is the week of action. Blessed. 22. This is a very guided card. Building blocks. Yep, this is definitely the week of action. Let's see what we have here. All right, so we have breathe. This is all about going within, finding clarity. And I feel like for a lot of you fire signs that you've already done this mode, that you've already allowed that space in your head to have those dreams, those wants, those desires all kind of come up, maybe not take judgment on things, on past relationships, on past hurts, and really just allow it to flow in and out and take a deep breath. And the universe is telling you already that you are blessed you are very blessed and it's you're, you're with this blessing it's almost like there's a support here for you so whatever and i feel a lot of you maybe you have taken so much time to reflect on things to really think about things and maybe you're a little bit more focused on some of the negativity that happened in the past and i feel for a lot of you fire signs that this is going to be the week of taking action and really being quick on your feet meaning that it's time to start building something new. See how strong this foundation is? This is, this is somebody who's in the middle, who's, who's kind of doing you know some thinking on here. We'll see how it plays out for tarot cards, but I feel like there's going to be some, there's going to be this need to move forward to start building a foundation, whether this is an existing foundation or something that's starting from the top. I feel like for many of you, this exists already and it's just building something um, to make it a little bit more as to what really fulfills your heart, your desires, right? The next stage, the next level. And it's going to be quick. It's 
like you've made your mind up. But let's see what the cards have to say for our fire signs. Yeah, a five of pentacles came underneath breath. So maybe there was a loss of some point. Seven of cups. This is reversed. So there's this need of coming out of options. Let's see. Page of Cups, a lot of water here already. So we have Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Comes underneath the last. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Definitely this feeling that something was lost or didn't go as planned in the past. Maybe a little, some confusion. You are in magician mode, which is great. That's pulling in the idea of creating. That's definitely the building blocks. Let's see what we have. Three more in here. Seven of Pentacles reversed. The moon. We just went through the Virgo moon. Hermit reversed. Yep, this is, there's that action. Wouldn't be surprised if we did get the chariot of some sort. Oop, that's too many. Too many. One more card and then the overall energy. There's definitely a loss in here. Yeah, we have we have nine of cups, which fulfills. The tower reversed. Okay, so when the tower is here, this is about blowing up an old foundation. I feel like this message is for many of you who, um, you know, this foundation isn't quite broken, okay? This is, this is definitely um, meant for a reading for people who have already ha established a relationship. That there maybe have been a standstill and you might have to rebuild this, okay? So I really feel like there's some kind of rebuilding that's going to be happening and it do this does feel relationship-based. A couple of you, this could be career, but let's start with the relationship, okay? For um, those of you who were in the past who have been dealing with some feeling of being out in the cold of just being completely ghosted or like just feeling like there's an ending of some sort within this maybe it's not getting enough attention for some of you or maybe and this could be if this isn't your energy this is the other person there is this need of wanting to you see how they're holding on to each other there's a need of wanting that support okay that there was some confusion in this, okay? This is about having a lot of choices, not having clarity, just too many options. But when this is reversed, this is telling me that the confusion is ending, that we have an individual here, um, and whether this is you or the other person, and I do feel like it's, this is water energy, so there's somebody who has a lot of water in their chart. You might have water in your chart too, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, but, there's somebody who wants to go back and and go in a level of fixing something okay this is all about this is all about an apology this is all about let's kind of work this out i feel like we have one individual who's looking to to um work things out this person who wants to work it out knows that they were blessed okay knows that they had someone in their life who was beautiful, who had it all, who was there for them, who was rich, abundant, just really secure in themselves. But this is reversed. So this is to me saying like, I, I might have screwed up in this relationship. I might have let the best thing that happened to me go. And the individual who is apologizing or wanting to apologize, whether that's you or the other person, I'm feeling right now is this, you know, I'm going to read this as fire energy. So Leo Sagittarius, I'm feeling right now, this is the other person. They didn't see your worth and you both are in this energy of co-creating. Okay. Of manifesting new starts. 
this is a blessed union. This is something that's blessed. This is something that's divine. This was meant to be. But there was a lot of slowness in it, okay? There was a lot of reflecting of where this foundation was. Like, why was it so broken? Why couldn't we get the start that we wanted? It just went too slow. Somebody on this end, and whoever has a lot of earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, somebody on this end felt like it was too slow. Now, underneath the magician is this, is, is this reversed. So this is coming out of the slowness. And I feel like with the moon here, this beautiful moon clear. This is usually about things that aren't clear, but with this falling, with this falling on um, the building blocks, I feel like, especially that we are in this minute, you see how there's two dogs here and they're howling on here. I feel like there is going to be clarity on this, on this, on this. Um, maybe it was an argument. Maybe it was something that, um, you know, on both ends where they just didn't feel like they understood. Could have been a miscommunication, a lot of miscommunications that happen, but they're still there. They're still there together. They're howling. I feel like we're gonna have somebody come out of this hermit mode. This is all about looking in, looking at the dream, looking at the wish, looking at it. This is reverse. So whether it's you or the other individual, there's somebody here who wants to apologize and move forward and be quick on their feet. Maybe they, maybe this energy of being quick on your feet was may, maybe that you were too quick to have opinions and, um, you know, on miscommunications and things like that. You guys were so quick on being defensive that it kind of pulled in this energy of like, oh my God, it just destroyed everything. But when you have the nine of cups, this is about somebody, you know, wish fulfilling. This is about almost having the 10 of cups right here. This is, this is about almost having it all. So we have an individual here and I do believe it's the person with his apologies that goes, listen, we, we already, we built so much together. Look at how much we built together. One more cup. I want to apologize and I want to, I, I really want to, I really want to pull this in. I really do want to build this. I really do want to build this relationship. For, and I feel like this is really strongly relationship. However, if this is, and I am pulling this in too for some of the career folks, whatever loss that you had, um, financially, this manifest, this, this of not having the worth, knowing your worth, um, feeling sorry for yourself is you're going to be taking back this energy to realize that this was a, the most blessed thing that could have happened to you. That this, this loss of an opportunity, this lost thing was the best thing that could happen to you because now you're really going to look in at yourself and in at that worth that you're gonna be in that co-creation mode, okay? That you are going to be building those nine, nine of cups. I really do feel like that for a lot of you for career. Um, I just wanted to clarify three more cards and then we are done. I feel like though this relationship, someone's definitely coming in, um, wanting, wanting to reconcile. Reconcile and, 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 and have a, equal give and take. Yeah, I mean, this is Gemini, lovers. Reconciliation. Job, This, if this is career, this could be a new job. Yeah, strength. Together, this, this relationship's divine. This is somebody who is loyal, loving, makes you feel you are confident and strong. Do you see how she's on there? This is Leo energy. You might be doing that also to fire signs for this other individual. You are two peas in a pod. You actually um, help each other grow. And it's, it is that, it's gonna be quick. It's gonna be that quick. That sly fox might have been that you were too quick on your feet to make decisions that ended it, right? That tower moment. But now it's all about rebuilding it. It's all about rebuilding it. All right, fire signs. Um, I read all my comments, so even if you're here just to say hello, you know, go ahead and comment. I just want to um, see how it resonates for you guys. I read all my comments, and please go ahead and hit the like button if you like this reading. And if you haven't subscribed, just hit that bell. Hit it twice so you get notified. All right. Take care, fire signs. See you next week.